Welcome back, little friend. Is that a gun? Fleck is my favorite Borderlands 3 character by far. I now played around with this robot that has no gender for more than 4 hours at a recent press event in London. First the opening of the game and then later we switch to a level 22 version to get a better idea of what a more fleshed out flag will look like. I was also able to try out all the free skill trees that all feel very very different. See the two evolutions of each pet that look really awesome. I just got a really good idea of flag and I want to tell you everything about it in this video. The best part? Well, that your pet will let you know when there is a loot chest nearby that you would otherwise have missed. No, knew there was a reason I kept you around. And I love these small interactions between you and your pet as well. I will tell you everything you need to know about Flack in this video. Would be awesome if you could leave a like on the video as it shows your support. And let's go. Quick reminder that I'm doing a giveaway right now for the Borderlands 3 Super Deluxe Edition of the game, including cosmetic packs, the season pass, and way more. So totally follow the link in the pinned comment for a chance to win. You have to be a subscriber of the channel before you enter, and if you win, then I'll reach out via the email just before the game is out, so you still got time to pre-order. You likely already know that Flag has three pets, right? Well, actually, the moment you hit level two, so after the first 10 minutes of the game, you can select one of those pets as your companion. Like, you can only have one active at the time, but are free to switch between them at any point. So you find one pet in every skill tree, and there's also an extra active ability, and I want touch on those in a second because you can actually enhance them a lot as well to really change them up. But first let's take a look at the pets. We got a jabber called Meat Thief, so a monkey style animal that has a gun so shoots the enemies from afar and can also throw barrels to the enemy that do a ton of damage but they can also hit you so you have to be careful for that. You by the way also fight these jabber enemies on the new Eden 6 planet only they don't have this awesome helmet and gear so that is exclusive to your pet from the looks of it. The first evolution that you can get by investing skill points in the stalker skill tree evolves your jabber into beefcake with larger horns on his back and a purple light coming out of his headgear instead of the green one. And also nice that you can now get the extra max health when having this animal around alongside the extra movement speed that you always have with a jabber by your side. The third evolution is the gunslinger who trades the shotgun for an SMG so more damage output in my experience and also now has this sort of radio on his back and just way more military gear red light from the glasses I really dig this. So he has a nice companion who shoots the enemy from afar. But what I really like about the stalker skill tree is the fact that your pets will be able to rush you when you are in the fight for your life mode. I noticed that Meat Thief would immediately go and revive me when I was down. So for solo players this is really really helpful. Sure you will also get back on your feet when your pet kills someone while you are fighting for your life just like with Dead Trap from Borderlands 2. But that is not as convenient because there have to be enemies around you and your pet needs to do enough damage to kill said enemies. Now he will immediately go and help you out so I really really like this skill. Especially nice against bosses when there are no ads nearby. It's basically a team member while you play solo and the nice part is that this skill is unlockable pretty early in the skill tree so you could max out another skill tree and then still have this pet revive skill. Gearbox noted that it by the way only revived you, so the pet will not revive your team member sadly. So before I want to take a look at these other pets and the other skill trees, I first want to go over the special ability from Flak in this stalker skill tree, Fade Away. And I really like this one because it lets you turn invisible for 15 seconds, so then the enemies do not see you. You get extra movement speed and health regen and also while this is active you can shoot three special bullets that look awesome and are different per weapon category. More importantly though they always crit and that's great in combination with the guns from the Jacobs manufacturer for example where if you hit a crit with those guns the bullet will bounce to other targets so you do a lot of extra damage. Like you see the bullets bounce around like crazy right here. 
So normally your fadeaway would end after three shots, but you have skill augments that let you stay invisible after those three shots. One has your pet taunt the enemies after the ability is over, so that all the enemies will attack your pet instead of you. You can also have an augment that lets the health regen and movement speed buff from the fadeaway persist after the ability is over. And you can also increase your critical hit damage on the same target. You can only choose two of these augments, so you really have to pick and choose what you want. Overall, I would say that the Stalker skill tree is pretty balanced, increasing your damage and that from your pets, and making sure that both of you stay in the fight for longer. We also have the Master skill tree, and that is more focused on making your pet an insane powerhouse. Investing points in the skill tree will let you unlock the evolutions of the Skak, but you can use any pets with any skill tree if you like, like you can mix and match if you want. But only the evolutions of the Skak can be found if you put skill points here. So first you got this small cute boy, that also increases your damage when it's active, but the first evolution makes him already more deadly, and gives the Skag horns, red eyes, and you get 10% extra gun damage for having the Skag with you. The Skag is by the way called Mr. Chew. The final form is called Iridian Skag, that as the name implies, gives the Skag Iridian on his back. It's still very playful though, rolling on his back, and it increases your fire rate instead of the extra gun damage when you have this one active. And you may be like, wait, isn't this pet larger than the other ones? Well, that is because of the gamma burst that makes every pet, so also the jabber and the spider rants, larger in size. With this skill, you can summon your pet to a target location and you want to do that to nearby enemies because it will then do a ton of damage. And after that, the pet appears and will just run around like crazy and attack the enemy. Enemies. The Jabber is normally a ranged enemy, but with this ability it will do melee damage. Fun fact also is that if your pet is dead, you can then revive it with this skill as well. The cooldown will then just be doubled. What you see here is a greatly enhanced Gamma Burst that you unlock after you spend a ton of points in the Master Skill Tree. I love the Radiant Aura, so that the enemies get damaged when your pet is close by. You can have your damage increased when the Gamma Burst is active, so your guns do more damage. And even have the Gamma Burst duration extended after your pet makes a kill. And I found this one really, really helpful because your pet is super strong, so it will totally kill a ton of enemies. And you will then see the 3 seconds like above the target, so you know that the duration is increased. It stacks 5 times, so it's not unlimited and your pet damage increases per kill as well. You also have an augment that lets the Gamma Burst Rift that appears after you summon your pet heal you, so that's pretty great too. Overall this skill tree is really focused on your pet going crazy, killing a ton of enemies, and you got some skills that increase the overall damage from the pet, and even that when enemies hit the pet they get damage back, but also that you share the damage that you take with your pet when you are low health. So that you don't die, but your pet takes a lot of the damage instead, so pretty nice. And then we still got the hunter skill tree, that is all about the spider rant who is actually a sheep. And you will hear that when Flack talks to her as well, so that's a pretty cool touch. There, there, girl. When this pet is active, you have health regen all the time. And the evolution of this spider is called the Scorcher. That deals fire damage to all nearby enemies and gives you elemental resistance alongside the health regen. I really love the look of this one and overall the broodless look with the drill arm is just awesome. And you can also evolve it into the larger Countess Spider Ant with the four eyes. And this one deals poison damage instead of the fire damage and increases your damage resistance instead of the elemental resistance. I really like the ability that you get from this skill tree, Rack Attack where you send out two of these birds to attack the enemy but you actually have two charges so can quickly follow up with another one if you want. You can enhance it by having three of these birds attack the enemy instead of two, get an additional charge so three instead of two and also an increased cooldown rate so you can do these attacks faster after each other. It normally deals fire damage but you can change it with one weapon augment to cryo damage so freezing the targets it's really great and then the final augment gives you health back when using this ability so that can be nice too. 
It's just cool to summon these birds to take out the enemies. And because of the low cooldown and the multiple charges, you can really spam it over and over again. Overall, this hunter skill tree is really about you dealing more damage. The final skill gives you a 20% chance to score crits on every part of the body instead of just the weak spots and that's insane. And there's overall just crit damage increase and that enemies are less likely to attack you and that will then increase your damage too. Really can't wait to build my own flag and see what is best. It will be hard picking the focus for sure. I think the stalker is my favorite but totally let me know what you will be maining for flak in the comments down below. Subscribe for way more on Borderlands 3. We are just getting started here on the channel and I got more news and gameplay from that recent play session. Like this video to support the channel and totally check out my previous video on all the gun manufacturers and their special abilities and also the legendary weapons. For now though, I will speak to you next time and goodbye.